Hello everybody and welcome to a beginning of another Let's Play. Tonight we are finally checking out this game, The Secret World Legends. I actually played this game back in the day, but uh, didn't really get too far into it. And I've heard so many good things about the story, so I've been wanting to jump back into it and give it another try. Because I don't know how much longer this game is going to be alive, especially in 2022. So... With that, we're going to be creating a new character, starting from fresh, and going from there. So, yeah, go ahead and get started here. And I'm going to cut my, uh, my webcam on here as well. So, hey, what's going on, Wayne? Evening Cassis, have you been, cur uh, have been curious about this game? Now I get to see it played? I've been very curious about this game as well. Um... I played it back in the day when they like originally kind of announced it and here's like a character I made like two characters in the past but I never got far with it so I'm actually going to delete this one because I think you only get one free character um, so yeah oh we have to do the uh, that all right so this is what it looks like now that we deleted my character one slot left there are three factions and uh i already know which faction i'm gonna go but we'll take a look and see so three factions you have are illuminati templars and the dragon um i'm most likely going to be going illuminati but I guess just for the sake of it, we can watch these videos. They might be loud. And this game is kind of old, by the way. So, like, there are probably going to be some issues here and there. Um, I tried launching it before starting stream. And it crashed one time on me already. So, we'll see how it goes. But it's all about power. let's see. Grabbing it. Keeping it. Power is our currency. Our DNA our god we control the world we provide the blueprint and we give the instructions we're the people in grainy photos on grassy knolls we're the shadowy faces in smoky back rooms and darkened boardrooms we're right here hiding in plain sight buying and selling favors blackmail trees and deceit these are our stock in trade we work the magic of the drunken evenings with senators and chiefs of staff. We shake down demons and negotiate with sorcerers. We have stocks and hell and compromising photos of angels. We use any means necessary regardless of the cost because the world is a bad place and you can either do or get done. We're the Illuminati and we're not done. All right, so that's the Illuminati's. Um, yeah, so sex, drugs, and Rockefeller <laughs> is their slogan. All right, let's check out the Templars. Deliverance from evil. You came to us in search of a purpose. And mark this. There is no purpose greater than ours. The world will founder without structure and discipline. It needs leadership to guide it to a new age of stability. It needs those with the will to stamp out the darkness that breeds in the cracks. We do this because we are compelled. By tradition, by loyalty, by laws. Without these, we are just animals. Evil reigns over animals, corrupting and compromising, toppling empires. So our empire must be incorruptible, must be uncompromising. Our conflict must be a righteous one. Your conviction will be tested, but among us, your faith will be unshaken. Among the Templars. All right, and that's the Templars, and the final one, the dragon, the art of chaos. <laughs> 정의해보다, what is chaos in theory? It's a thousand coins flung into the air. Hana Hana Tongani Tolatagatorajimeso, Tongiwa, Tamio, 
관용과 처형, 고난과 따분함을 결정하는 것이다. 드래곤은 누구일까? 우리는 동전의 어느 한쪽 면도 아니다. 그저 운명이 우리를 위해 움직이기를 바랄 뿐이다. 우리는 동전이 아니라 동전을 던지는 손이다. 동전이 그리는 궤적이고 동전을 흔드는 거친 바람기도 하다. 셀수 없는 조건에 따라 결과는 달라지지만 우리는 그 모든 결과를 파악하고 조작하려고 노력한다. 천 개의 동전이 떨어져 내리는 동안 우리는 공식을 만들고 계산해서 각 동전이 어디에 떨어질지 예측한다. 동전이 떨어진 다음에는 어떻게 할까? 우리는 상황에 따라 적당히 조절한 다음 동전을 다시 공중으로 튕긴다. 우리는 드래곤이다. 이론이 정의하는 범위를 넘어 카오스를 제어한다. 오케이, okay, so that's all of them. I don't know, I like Templar. Yeah, the Templar seems actually pretty cool. Um, to be honest, they, they all have their own like kind of thing. I don't know, now I'm kind of thinking maybe Dragon. Well, I just clicked on it, but I'm, I'm just curious what happens. What's the difference? So I guess I'm assuming the difference is your starting area. Here's the Templar's district. They all seem cool, honestly. I was gonna go Illuminati. Um, hmm. But the dragon one seems kind of cool too. Like I'd be curious how this works. Being a part of the dragon one. Um. The art of chaos. Let me see all just a little power. bit. Grabbing it, keeping it, using it. Power is our currency, our DNA, our god. We control the world. Huh. I really was going to go on Illuminati. I thought I was setting on it too. But now I'm kind of curious. It's a, why is this so difficult? You came to us Just choosing one. Of a purpose. Templar and looks pretty this. sick too. There is say. no purpose great. Maybe we'll go dragon. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try dragon. Just because the, the area looks cool. I mean, worst case, if it's like weird, then I'll just change it back. But I'm gonna try dragon. See how it goes. Or should I go Illuminati? I can't decide. Does it matter like what weapons you choose? So first you choose your character and then you choose a, uh, a weapon. Uh, here, let me actually do like just quick research. So like secret world, legends, factions, differences. Well, yeah, what is the difference between the factions? Um, which faction should you choose? It affects the type of quests you get. Hornsa is demonstrated the get-go. Uh, which one is, is your first choice in your character customization? Uh, why factions matter? Templar is red, Illuminati blue, dragon green. Does it matter which one? Yes, it does. Uh, no matter what you get. Faction missions may have similar similarities, which such as where you go, but objectives are different and who is to blame. You learn more about the overarching story, but the challenge is filtered through your faction handler. Your cutscenes with your handler will share information about you and your faction's role in the world and issues at hand. 
Also learn tidbits from the handler in form of communication with your handler after completing many of the main missions. You glean information from these, which are provided uh, in the voice and personality of that specific handler. Okay. Just don't, it says don't resort to just blindly picking if you don't want to. Stay tuned. Uh, okay. Man. Now I'm like, I was, dude, I was set on picking it, Templars, but now I'm like, I mean, uh, Illuminati, but now I'm like all over the place. Actions. What's the difference? Here's a picture of them. Uh, I mean, the dragons seems cool. Illuminati seems cool. Templars seem cool. All right. I think we're going to go. Yeah. We're going to go Illuminati. We're going to stick to Illuminati. Because their, their outfits look cool, too. Maybe I mean who knows if this if this game is sick, then I'll I'll change I'll uh um I'll do another playthrough and see how much it changes. We'll see though. I wanted to do at least one because I really we really don't know how long this game's gonna be around for. It's been out for so long and the player count is so low. Who knows? So I'm going to give it a shot. We'll go Illuminati. See how it goes. Maybe one day do a uh, another playthrough of uh, Templars and then maybe Dragon 2. Now here comes the hard part. Selecting a character or creating a character. Probably go with this face. Yeah, that's good. All right, face. So it's like minor changes here. We'll go with this one and hair. So yeah, we're definitely gonna stick with all black hair. Red, green. Uh, okay, so that's the black hair. Do we have facial hair in this actually? Not sure. Eyebrows, eye color, facial features. Is it like face tattoos and stuff? Oh, let me go back to the hair and choose one first. So, what kind of hair do we want to go with? I might go with this. Alright, it's not like we have the craziest options here, so. I'm going to go with, yeah. Let's go with this one. Yeah, that's good enough. Eyebrows. I'm not going to mess with the eyebrows. Green. Eyes. We'll do that. Um, probably not going to do any of these, but I'm just looking. Teardrops. 
scars. Oh, wow. oh, they do have them. Okay. How do you, um, wait, I didn't know this. I didn't know they had beards. Oh, different colors like that. Okay, cool. The left side is all <laughs> Missioner Gordon. It looks like uh, this lead singer of Disturbed now. All right, so we're going to go with this one. Makeup? Nah, we don't need any makeup, I don't think. Oh, you could ha actually add a little bit of a shadow. Like five o'clock shadow. Eh, we'll go none just in case character size will be big bigger actually we'll go as tall as you can go there we go black clothing okay so one part down character created uh well looks of character <laughs> i can't no 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 we're not doing that <laughs> What what is this? What is that? No. So we have a overshirt and undershirt. Well, let me see what happens if we take off the coat. Let me see, what other code options do we have? Do we have like a jacket or anything? Like a... Eh. I mean, I'm fine with going with a hoodie. Or maybe even this, like, what if we put on, like... Looks like I got a hitman, almost. I don't know if I'm a big fan of the coat, though. I'd rather, like, stick to that, yeah. Sure, that works. All right, legs. Not like we have like crazy options here, but I don't know. I don't know how it goes for like as you're in the game longer, if you get more options unlocked or if it's just like it's kind of like what you get. Get what you see. I'd throw on like a suit or like something like that if we actually had a suit. But it seems like like most of that is not really here yet. I mean, that doesn't look too bad. I don't like the open jackets, though. It's kind of like my thing. I mean, we could do this, the brown one. I'm going to go with the brown one. Yeah, just like that. All right, we're part of Illuminati. We're just a regular guy just trying to live our life. Life. All right, starter class. So from my understanding is you can change up your your abilities and things like that as the game progresses. Um, so if you want to like change to a different type, you can do that. Um, like use different weapons and all that. Not 100% sure how it works, but apparently that's how 
I, so what I've heard so far is how it works. Gunslinger, Magus. Demolisher, Trickster. I mean, all of these seem kind of cool. And you can kind of see just from like looking at it, like this guy has uh, some sort of sniper rifle, assault rifle on his back. But then this guy has a sledgehammer and a shotgun. This one has a rifle and a book, two pistols and a shotgun. Then this one has uh, some sort of abilities. This one has a sword and a sledgehammer. And then this one has the shield and the two guns on his side. So um, the text is so small, but I can kind of see it. Um, probably not going to go Ravenger. Favorite role will probably go either Warlock. Uh, probably not Warlock. Gunslinger, Magus. What is Trickster? Survivability. Both of these seem cool. Primary weapon, pistol, secondary weapon, shotgun. Damage, all in channel a series of pistol shots that deal increasing damage, consume four pistol energy. Elemental focus, fire, and lightning abilities build up heat and grow in your power. Uh, character, what's this one? Chaos focus. Does this one also use chaos focus? Oh, it does. As a second ability. Align the user towards chaos. When fully aligned, chaotic ma magic disrupts reality around the user. Deal damage. I think we're going to start with the gunslinger and then if I find like one of these like chaos or elemental things I'll try them out too because from my understanding you can change your abilities and what you use at almost any point in the game so and worst case I mean we're just a gunslinger but yeah um character's nickname will be the unique player name within secret world legends this will be shown in chat when other players target you Uh, first and last name, serum name, will be visible to anyone who inspects your character. These names are uh, just for flavor and do not have to be unique. Please note that this. Uh, please note that this is not your real name, but your character's name. If you want to phrase your identity, please pick a fictional uh, first and last name. So, preserve your identity. Yeah, we'll just do cast this plays again. So, cast this plays. Cast this. Yeah, Cassis, Cassis plays, plays. That works good enough. All right, here we go. Now that the character creation is done, we're actually loading into the... It crashed. <laughs> it's in Tokyo. One week ago. The Japanese government has stated that an unidentified radical political group released a biological agent in the Tokyo subway, less than one kilometer from Orochi Town. Although the area has been evacuated, there have been eyewitness reports of activity inside the perimeter, including ongoing fighting between Orochi security personnel and armed civilians. Authorities are denying these reports, and the military has barred anyone from approaching within 100 meters of the temporary perimeter. This went into my mouth at 12 a.m. You will see the end of days. You will see the dawning of a new age. There's not any subtitles right now, chat. Or a beggar. But I'll try to, to turn them on. Everything or to become a god. To stand if they have with it. us or against us. The choice is yours. Remember this. <coughs> 
What the hell? Four days ago. So it was a week and then it goes to four days. You know, surprisingly, this game actually, like, the graphics aren't horrible. Jesus. It's just like... Whoosh exploding in his room. Yeah, I'm honestly surprised like the graphics like look decent. Gunslinger. Closer child. Dream architect. The world trembles. You must learn or be swept away. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can turn on subtitles in Cinemax. There it is. Okay, that's good now. Let's hit OK. Obtain and complete act active mission. Do I talk to you, ma'am? F to view mission. Recommend level tier one, tier one. You have spoken, woken up in your bedroom, which is transported into a small cemetery. Proceed forward and learn more about this dream. Move close to the dream architect and press F to choose any action in the dream rise. The dead rise. Okay, so we picked up our quest. Move through the cemetery. Take weapon. Press I to open up your inventory. Equip the weapon primary. Move closer to the dream architect. The dead are rising to the siren song. Oh god. Destroy them. Basic abilities are as effortless as breathing. But Finish off the trapped zombie. I love how he turns it sideways. Lay the dead to rest. Silence. Snap a quick shot to the target with a pistol. Q uh, requires pistol in your primary inventory slot. Okay. It's not bad so far. Defeat the fresh zombies. Oh god. Holy! I can't tell what's better. Just keep clicking. All right, let me see. Listen to the voices that whisper in your sleep. Consume three pistol energy. I'm assuming this is my pistol energy. This tiny little bar. Is there a way we can increase the UI? Nah, it doesn't look like it. At least I can't find any. I mean, it's not horrible. I can still see it. It's just tiny. That's all. So, hold on. Actually, I guess you can... You technically want to use both. Hair trigger. Snap a quick shot to your target with a pistol, dealing five physical damage. 
Uh, fire shot at the target in a way that it rolls through them and nearby enemies affected target are dealt five physical damage. So yeah, I guess you just like keep tapping both. Catch up with the dream architect. You must learn focus and control. Learn more about your weapon. To be only in dreams and only once. Every weapon becomes a unique focus for your abilities. Power swirls in the chamber of the pistol. A roulette of chaos and carnage at your fingertips. Dual pistol cha chamber spin when you shoot. Match the top colors for a damage boost. Okay. Speciality spotlight. Oh god. Pistols. Understanding the chamber roulette. Use your pistol abilities to spin both chambers. When both chambers align, your pistol's abilities do additional damage for a short while. The damage bonus increases based on the rarity of the match. Rare? Okay, I see. Huh. Gives you a little video. Suspended rock... Raksha? Shasha? I have no idea how you say that. What is this? Player, spin your pistols and ready yourself for action, allowing you to recover four pistol energy. The Rakshasa have also come to heed the sun. Have pity, but spare them no mercy. They were once like you. The world shakes, the dead rise. You will be tested. will be tested. Explore the graveyard. Oh boy. Bend yourself in against the ravenous zombies. Oh, X is how you sprint. Okay. Okay, and it takes a second. But then it does allow you to sprint. Defeat the reanimated gravekeeper? Oh boy. Take lever. Approach the dream architect and listen to our advice. What the hell? Revenants do not follow the call. They follow death. You cannot leave this place while it lives. Be agile. Be confident. Your life depends upon it. Active dodge. Turn the lever to the base. To its base. Oh boy. Oh, okay, I see. So that's their ability thing. Oh jeez. Send mission report. Control R to claim reward. Collect. Nice. We got a chain. Okay. That's inventory there. Gunslinger. Progress further to unlock this feature. Uh, okay. 
Well, it's... Just checking out what's up here. Twelfth month patron bundle. Wait, what? You actually get a suit like that? Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know how much that is though. So, <laughs> twelve month patron bundle. I I think patron is their. Um, it's probably their subscription status thing. The right choices. Make the right choices. Jump down and dive deep into the dream. Oh boy. I mean, so far the game handles, I mean, besides that one crash that I have. Please don't, don't make, don't make me say that. Don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Please. Don't. It, I, I think it crashed. I think it crashed again. <laughs> or not. Is a fool's errand. Wisdom is your mid schemes. The, the torch child. Got the torch in metaphors because alien minds cannot decipher them. Hold the torch, your uh, disables your possible. normal actions. Press Wisdom E to drop the torch again. Torch. Some items grant in unique abilities. Oh, crap. Uh, I dropped the torch. Yeah, it looked irritating and she had a slather. An A and D or recipe. Pretty much. <laughs> Play this a lot, really. How's the uh the community in it? Oh god. Move past the floor tiles. Um wait, person? Okay, this one, 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 this one. We made it. There it is. I don't know why my bar is still showing at the bottom now. The heck? Let's try putting it into full screen. God. Everything keeps flickering. Hold on. You are with the community is pretty good, just sparse. Yeah, I feel like I've seen that. The community is very small. Which is kind of like why I wanted to always play, uh, uh, play this game. Because I, I feel like I don't know how much longer it's actually going to be around for. Solve the riddle. One one seven person two. Uh well then let me do this one. Then the person, which is back here. And then two. Right? Boom. Genius. God gamer. <laughs> Is there any way to increase the AI? I mean, uh, the UI at all? Like this? I know if you go into... Uh, technically, if you go into the files, can you? But I was just curious. There's like a quick and easy way.
They are the cats prowling at the walls of reality. You are the mouse. It is best to remain unseen. Sabotage action vision mission? Oh. I'm looking at this right here. That's a cool. Mouse creeps to avoid stepping on a trap. Enter the bunker. Maybe I should try changing it to DirectX 9. Can't remember, been a while, uh, so long since I've messed with my UI on here. Yeah, it just froze on me again. Alright, let's give this another try. Let's see. <laughs> I mean, worst case, if it still doesn't work again, then I'll try it in DirectX 9. And see if we get any crashes then. All right, enter the bunker. I notice very small stutters right now, too. Dream is running smoother now. That's good. So far. All right, good. Rip. RIP to these people. The clever mouse will walk unseen. A mouse cannot defeat a cat face to face. I don't know if I ever ran this before. Sneak past and Disable the war machine. Nice. <laughs> we got it. Okay. Right. Uh, inspect three six nine one. Use the keypad and proceed deeper into the dream. Three six nine one. That's kind of cool. I really don't know if I ever, I mean, maybe I did this before. I don't know. Press the send report Talismans button. can protect you, strengthen you, and focus you. They cannot save you. Nothing can save you, but the choice will set you to one Medallion and a chain. Meet up with other secret worlders and investigate Times Square. Dirty. We have no time to spare. Maybe so I did do this. The Council of Venice first. It's something now they added the started a few new years ago. What was that? Started new a few years ago. The go, go now. I remember this. Don't hold anything back. This reminds me of a uh, prototype. I don't have any gun or ammo. Oh God. Two days ago.
That's pretty cool. <laughs> Yesterday. Who's there? Somebody's been bad. I approve. Mind if I come in? Time is ticking, so I'll cut straight to the chase. I work in talent acquisition, specializing in a highly unconventional sector for a very particular client. And they're particularly interested in your kind of talent. Fucking stuff up. Putting it back together, altering the fabric of space and time, basic thaumaturgy. My client is only interested in the best of the best. That's where I come in. Your talent is raw, but it's uh, obvious. My client has the means to refine that talent and make the most of what you've got, and I'm not talking about money. Well, not just money. Protection. Power. The best parties in the biz. We're prepared to give you a unique opportunity, a chance to prove you've got what it takes to hang with the big boys and girls, to rule the world. It's up to you to grab that opportunity by the balls. Based on what I've seen so far, you might be what I'm looking for, or you might end up dead. Time will tell. Tick tock. You have an appointment tomorrow in Brooklyn that I'd uh, recommend you keep. There's no address. Consider this the commencement of your official interview. Find us. Or we'll find you. My client has uh, eyes everywhere. Don't be stupid. Later, Gator. The Illuminati card. Sweet. Does every character begin in that, uh, that apartment, I guess? And then a different handler comes in, probably, I'm assuming. To knock on your door. So we're in Brooklyn. Depends on the, your faction and how your video starts out. Okay. Hopefully we fix the crash. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Is there a zoom in and zoom out? Like there's doggos. Up, up. Moon Thessa. Oh, that's a person. Wait, you're alive? Wait, that's a person. Cool dogs. Whoa, whoops. Tap Alt and scroll to your mouse. Then scroll. Ah. Oh, there's a uh, lore piece right there. I don't know how you get up there, though. For now, I'm going to actually follow the story and let it uh, show me the way this first. I can't talk in chat, test. Yeah, for some reason, I'm, I don't know if I'm too low of a level level to talk. Just out of curiosity. I uh, say so you have to finish the tutorial before you can even look at any of this stuff. All right, well, let's go. Damn, this classified planet. Myths looks pretty good.
warehouse. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. That's pretty cool that it actually shows you. So that's a mod that I installed uh, that shows you where all the loot is, or well, lore stuff. You become a Raymond store, ramen store owner. That happens to be a Sackler upper. I mean, you can, I'm sure you can RP as that, I guess, <laughs> if you really wanted to. Hold on, let me check the interface stuff. A display I wanted to see if there was a way you can like I didn't even tell I couldn't even tell that that other person was a player until I looked at them show player name tags name tag on player show vicinity NPC name tags show hostile NPC name tags There we go. That's better. Now we can actually see them. Interface. Out of functionality. There's so much in here. info target info chat and oh, now it shows my name I mean I don't care it's showing my name but show full name uh go maybe it's show full name if i click on that There's so much. <laughs> Show player info. Maybe that's it. Ah, uh, no, that's a uh, different. No, wait, go back. Different player info. Not to, like I try hovering over these to see like what it means. Yeah, so that's my health. Yeah, we probably need that. Show health bars none, show targeting name, show target name tag. Okay, so that shows my full name. Your health is a green bar at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, I just turned. Uh, this HUD display, I turned off the show target info and that disabled it. And I was like, no, I want that. I want to be able to see my health at least. Uh, enable FOV change while sprinting. Nice. Auto loot. Did apply for those. Combat. Auto select new mission. Do that. Okay. The text is like so small, I'm like trying to read it. Target named. Uh target that. I mean I guess it's where did I have that option for seeing nearby NPCs name? I just saw that. It's 
not there. Here it is. Show player name tag. Show target name tag. Okay, so that disables mine. There it is. Show vicinity player tag. Okay, okay, there we go. Now we're good. Now we just have uh, vicinity people and not mine. Whew. There's so many menus in there. All Trying to figure out. Triple decaf caramel organic soy macchiato with artificial sweetener. <laughs> okay, dude. Oh, the door was right there. Are you serious? I walked right past that door. Hive mode. Yeah, the UI has a lot to it. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Better no, to have no, more no. than Too much visibility on the street. They're listening. They're always listening. That's why I keep the dryers running 24-7. They bug my phones, read my mail. They have this place on CCTV. Replace my girlfriend with an android. The Illuminati. I know you know. And they know I know. You know? <laughs> oh, you're wondering why they haven't disappeared me. Shut down my magazine? It's because I play smart. I play along. It's a game to them, you know? It's all just a game. I was like, oh, what the hell is that? Hi, Leah. Don't worry. She's, she's, she's not one of them. She's in my D&D &D group. <laughs> Role-playing is the only avenue to resist control. We do nothing. Nothing! They don't tell us to. They've been conditioning us in, 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 in every kind of media for years, okay? Example? Pac-Man. That's how they see you. Just, 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 just a little head. Just a mind share. And you run through the mazes, the mazes they built, sucking down their pills. The fruit, the forbidden wisdom of Eden, never enough. And you can't shake the fucking ghosts, right? I mean, they're watching you. Their eyes are always watching you, even beyond death. This all adds up. That's where you'll find the Illuminati. At the dark center. In the ghost house. In the labyrinth. It's right here. Just, just follow the yellow dot road. <laughs> That's all I can say. Okay. Something tells me you're not here for the laundry. Find surveillance evidence. Find more surveillance evidence uh, or equipment outside. You know, parts of this game, too, reminds me of... Uh, like the Matrix Online. Which I wish that game was still around today to at least try. But it's only because this game is like in the real world. Or supposed to be in the real world. All of the trail is surveillance equipment. Look at the pups. I want pups like that. Goal complete. Lam Illu Illuminati. <laughs> Illuminati 14. So L. Okay, so this is all like legends. Achievements, global. J, this is our current missions. Follow the Illuminati markings. Illuminati graffiti. So this is as far as I got in my character that I created. Literally right here, and then I stopped. So all this now is new territory for me. I'm gonna try to get this. 
Okay, so we get some XP. Very light XP, but some XP for those. Oh, we are actually still sprinting? Nice. Uh, why is this maze so difficult? Almost New Yorker. This way. That way, this way. This way. Hold on. Grab this. Okay, back up. Down here. Yo. Okay. What the heck? How do I... Is there emotes? Hi. <laughs> okay. Give up. Oh, shit. You know the drill. Run them through due diligence. I'm on it. Please, no head trauma. Someone ping Cassini to shut that fucking alarm off. Say, have you ever seen a person void themselves from exposure to pink noise? Get these two freaks out of here. It knocked me out. I mean, I guess I am invading Hi. the Illuminati. Have you ever seen a psychiatrist or taken psychedelic drugs? Whoa, 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 don't freak out. You got a lot of narcosynthetics in your system to fast track the rapport process. So make yourself comfortable before you lose motor function in your arms and legs. Is it safe? <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. I'm a researcher, an experimental researcher. Zern, my schedule is triple booked, so get started 10 minutes ago. Uh, yes, ma'am. Ms. Geary. Management. <laughs> Still here. Shit. Knew that. <laughs> wow. Illuminati. Always there. Okay. Today, we're going to be provoking your extra human potential. Routine tests, psychic driving, invasive procedures, auto-suggestion, and this is all going to happen while you're under a post-hypnosis role-playing scenario. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm going to play you a looped recording of the catastrophe in Tokyo. And then, with a little chemical assistance, your uninhibited neurons are going to work their crazy magic. I won't lie to you. This is going to be an intense out-of-body experience. Wow! I'm pretty excited myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited and to see where it goes. subject has left the building. I've always heard that the story is amazing. Uh... And I mean, the world seems cool so far, too. So, I mean, if story's good, world building is good, and gameplay is decent, then that's all categories that's fine with me. It's all shut um, down. Kaido, so. everything. From the park to, to Arachi Tower. SDF quarantine. Good news for Tokyo, bad news for us. I thought the dragons thrived on chaos. Someone once told me the Illuminati had all the answers. They're saying a bomb. So let me guess, one of them's Templar, bomb. one's Dragon, Something and one what? is Something that brought the filth uh, with it. So we fight. Wait, one's Templar, one's Dragon, That's one's what Templars do. I enjoy Illuminati. a good fight. It's just these trousers are bloody velvet. Sarah! Thank Gaia! So, I'm seeing through somebody else's eyes. Round zero. Uh, pick up your second weapon from the bag. Open your inventory. Equip that. 
Heavy munitions, dragon's breath, long lasting, breach armor, damage, health. Shotguns have four types of ammo with unique abilities. When it's time to reload, your shotgun abilities will swap to randomized ammo options. Choose an ammo type to reload your shotgun with. Speciality spotlight. Shotgun. Reloading your heavy munitions. The shotgun is loaded with six shells. Using any shotgun abilities will expend these shells. Ah. Once all shells are depleted, every shotgun ability will be replaced by a reload option for a randomized shell type. There are four types of ammunition. Armor piercing. Armor piercing shells reduces the defense of your target. Depleted uranium shells deal a large amount of bonus damage. Dragon's Breath shells apply a significant damage over time effect. Incendiary. Anima infused shells cause your attacks to restore a percentage of your health. That's pretty cool. Nice. All those are neat. So... Press N to open your skills window. Oh boy. Uh, purchase an ability for your second weapon. Select the shotgun, rocket pads, unlock. Okay, and then this is how you can unlock different ones too. Unlock this weapon for 500 marks of favor. Controlled chaos. Okay, now I see. Blood offering. Blood magic. Blade fist, blood offering, chaos magic. Sweet. Attacks have a chance uh, to fill two to four proxies, require a random. Just looking over these. Dual shot, passive skills. Damn. Build manager. Okay. A good, good amount there. Open the gate. So how do my question is how do we switch? Oh, okay, left click uses this, then it swaps between the weapons. Left click is your primary, right click's your secondary. Oh God. Oh no. How many have they got in there? Head off the pill. So if this gets out into Tokyo. Shotgun's pretty strong. So scrolling the mouse wheel tag toggles yourself. What's shift one do? Their dialogue is so quiet. Incoming!
Regroup with the team. We're gonna need to use some heavier powers. Don't hold back, right? <laughs> Press N to open up your skill window. Purchase the two passive abilities for your primary weapon. Eye roller. Attack rating goes up. And the control shooting rolls through enemies and becomes even stronger for each enemy it hits. Nice. Okay, so you can have five equipped passives. We'll hold them here. Make a stand. Proceed through the next platform gate. Oh, Jesus. Nice. Open your inventory and right click it. What was that? Warren Curio. Kills you or an ally for 80. This uh, value does not increase your health ratings. Select your target and right click to use. Okay, so you press C. I see it on the, uh, the bar now. Interesting. Oh boy. What was that? Even where the filth corrupts, Gaia's power. Lee? Is that you? Yourself. Breathe it out. Enter the battle against the filth. What the heck? Good. Making a stand? Wasn't working out. Yeah, about that. This ain't looking much better, to be honest. Now is not the time for argument. Told you he would say that. Let's do it. Well done. Big boy. almost dead. Continue the up the opening. stairs and go find help. Oh! Oh no! We're separated! No! 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 They're not stopping! And they will not stop. This is all to hold us back. Look out! It's all coming down! What the hell? Mind trip? Oh my god. Oh boy. See, now this I never saw. I never got this far before.
<laughs> I'm excited to see what happens. I'm honestly probably going to be playing this game like all week too at this rate. So I want to try to make as much progress as I can. Pineal gland. Overstimulated. Higher brain functions. Functioning. That is great work. N of HP Lovecraft. All above MK Ultra yeah. success rate. And I know, I know this game is very hey, uh, you, heavily influenced by a lot of his tripping? stuff. Zerg. Well, yes. I Look like that kind of stuff. Hey, you better haul ass um, to the test chamber. Jump through a few hoops. Oh, oh, and you may be feeling some discomfort from the yeah. microchip that I grafted to your spinal column. Ah. No worries, though. I mean, it's 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 gonna fade, really. And as your doctor, Cthulhu and all of that. You, that stuff's so cool to me. You, it's scary, but it's also cool. Don't try removing it, okay? Move around to regain your senses. Here comes my next victim. I, I went through a bunch of acronyms to get where I am today. NIMH, the CIA, the SAD. I was heading the MK Ultra project during the 80s. This was after it had been publicly shit canned, obviously. Huh. <laughs> Mind control. Wow. That's a great, great feel. It's all hands potential. on deck until they suck a fork in the Orochi deal. Gross. The heck? There's a severed head. Cool game. Yo, what's going on, Ronnie? All on call editors. A news broadcast requires okay, adjustment. Okay, let's make science happen. Okay, exit Zern's lab. Yeah, these areas are pretty cool so far. The world building seems really neat. Find and enter the test chamber. I like how they give you icons on like where to go. Like this game reminds me of like a mix between um, DC Universe Online only because you create your own character. And then also um, like City of Heroes slash villains. Even though it's way different than all of those but it's like a combination and then built into its own thing and then its own thing make contact with the combat director I really miss city of heroes i love city of heroes this back in the day environment in more ways than one city of villains actually in here we have total control. We see a war play out exactly as we intended to. You will learn, and unless you offend me more than I can bear, little harm comes to you. Game's on Steam. Indeed, it is. And it's free to play as well, so. Pick primary weapon. Sinking. Sink complete. Rip the weapon you picked up. Field performance module online. Read the SMG. The faction handler sent you a message. Press Alt to enter mouse mode, then click the envelope icon to read it. Uh. Oh, there it is. Hey there, I need to hit, uh, hate to light a fire under your ass, but you need to hurry. Get everything you need from the Director de La Guardia and come see me right away. It is an urgent matter. Take some discarded weapons from the crate. Oh, right here. Press Y to open the upgrade menu. Okay, so this is where you can choose what uh, side weapons you use. Elemental focus, hammer, and assault rifle. So from my understanding in this game, you can always swap out your weapon and then start working towards a new uh, weapon. Is 
Does it let me like try these? Assemble button. Oh, place your dual pistols in the target slot. Uh, use the discarder weapon to upgrade your primary weapon to level four. Oh, the, all of them? Ah, I see, I see. An assemble. That upgrades it, I see. Just there to use your up, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, they will give you a secondary weapon. Okay, now I see. So now we have this upgraded and then we can take it that. Pick up your secondary weapon. Okay, so now we pick up the shotgun. Take the remaining discarded items so they can be further used further to upgrade your weapon. Upgrade your green weapon when you are ready to leave. Take that. Okay, so the more you use, the higher it takes your your weapon. So the last one went to four. This one went to three because I used three. Shotgun is good, but the range isn't very ranged. Yeah, I could kind of see from from that there. Um, the few times that we used it already. If I um if I find one of those other ones like the dark blood magic or like dark magic or whatever, I might take those. Try them out at least. They seem kind of cool. Okay. Go meet your primary contact. Here's the thing to try them out and you have to unlock them in your skill. To try them out, you have to unlock them. Oh. So you have to unlock them. Auction house. Wallet. Oh, I thought you had to just like, I thought you could just swap out at any time. So I would, I would have to use 5,000 marks of favor or We're waiting to hear 400 RM to be able to do it. Okay. I see. You can want to unlock them and then you can swap at any time. Got it. Got it. Now I see. I fucking love old school hip hop, don't you? Projecting oh. indecision is a big no no. Always smile. But this isn't another test. We don't do probation. You're either in or you're out. The Illuminati are very achievement focused. It's like Xbox, only everything is hardcore. The ethic I really want to instill in you is to aim high and achieve even higher. It's not just in your best interest, it reflects on me too, and that is super important. Make me look bad, I'll mount your head on my wall as an object lesson to the next fuck up. God, it is so cute when you new guys think I'm kidding. Solomon Island. A little town and a preppy school with connections to us have kind of vanished off the coast of Maine. The people aren't a major deal. Do you know how many disappearances there are in the United States every year? We do. But our noses need to be totally clean on this one. The military are involved, and we have limited bandwidth to stall the shit heels at the DOD. Give an old dude a red button to press, it's like Viagra to them. I want you out on Solomon Island to assess the impact on our bottom line. You can skip the traffic and the quarantine by traveling through Agartha. Just use your initiative, but not too much initiative that comes across as desperate. Ciao, ciao. Okay. <laughs> Find the corridor that uh, leads deep into the warehouse. It's funny, you see like the, the shotgun swing back and forth on his back. Find the Agartha entrance. Take that. <laughs> Oh, okay. It goes into the warehouse. I ran... Wait, why does the soda machine have a name? 
Oh, it's because it's technically a vendor. I see now. Test chamber. Do you want to tra travel to Agartha? Guess so. Legend gives you XP and anima shards when, when learned.